This delightful little cookie called Rosemary Orange Thumbprints were found in a Better Homes and Gardens magazine and I really enjoyed it. Here it is. Starting off with mixing the dry ingredients, that's one cup of all-purpose flour, one half cup of cornstarch, and some fresh rosemary. Just remove the leaves, chop it up, and that is one teaspoon of fresh rosemary. You can also use the dried if you like, but you're going to use about half of that. Stir it around and set that aside. Now for the other ingredients, that's three quarters of a cup of butter. Just gonna blend that a little bit so that it is light and fluffy. You know I have to say light and fluffy at least once in each video. Then one third of a cup of powdered sugar, also known as icing sugar or confectioner sugar. And blend that together. Now we're gonna start to combine the flour into the mixture. Add the flour a little at a time in about two or three additions, mixing between each addition. And you'll end up with something that's fairly crumbly and relatively dry for a cookie batter. This is very, very similar to shortbread cookies. If you'll notice, there's no egg and there's no leavening agent like a baking powder or baking soda in this. So you just break off little sections and roll it between your hands to make one inch sized cookie balls. And then you need to make a little indentation in the center. And that's why they're called thumbprint cookies because you're gonna make a little thumbprint or fingerprint in the center. You need to make a little, like a well or a little dent in the middle to contain the next ingredient, which is orange marmalade. I put the orange marmalade, which is about a quarter cup you'll need for this recipe, in a Ziploc bag, cut off the corner, and then just squeeze a little bit into the center of each cookie. And what's great about this is um, you can use a spoon, but this is so much easier. Then once those are all filled up, you are going to bake them for about 14 minutes or so at 325. It's a slow oven because that's usually the oven you will use when you're making shortbread cookies. It's always a little bit lower temperature. You're going to bake them until the edges are just lightly browned and the bottom is lightly browned. Let them cool on the cookie sheet for about a minute or two and then put them on a rack to cool completely. Just showing you the bottom of the cookie. And if you'd like, uh, once they're cooled, you can dust them with a little bit more of the powdered sugar. And there they are. These are delicious. The smell of the rosemary coming out of that oven when you open it to take the cookies out is amazing. The rosemary flavor in the cookie is very noticeable, but it is delicious. And you wouldn't think something like rosemary would go well in a sweet, but I was very impressed with these cookies. Um, the orange and the rosemary go so well together. I thoroughly enjoyed them and I love the sh delicate shortbread texture of these cookies. So why don't you give them a try?